All right. Uh, first, I'm going to show you PLG and why it's cool, and then I'm going to show you life of UV tools and why they're not that cool. So let's start with um, PLG. See how fast we can do this. So advanced edge. And this one can be a bit tricky to click on, so I'll just say show those handles. Okay, so there we go. We got that edge selection. Make it me, and we're done. That's it. That's how it should have been. Uh, now, you can just skip this video if you don't want to see how it shouldn't be done. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean to be sarcastic, but uh, uh, okay, so let's take a look at um, Life AV UV Tools, Texture Guide, for example, and uh, Cylinder in the Y. And you see the cylinder pops up here, so I can hold down Control. Uh, actually, yeah, something like that. And something like this. Not going to be too accurate. Because you can see that this isn't working anyway. So the only way to make this work is to eyeball it by taking these, stretching these out, and then scale it down. Now you can do that, but it's not really a very efficient or good way of doing it. Um, okay, so the third method. Probiner showed this trick, and what it does is that basically takes the length around the object, and um, so let's just copy that uh, this here because that's the width, and we're going to calculate old-fashioned math uh, the length. All right. So I'll just paste that in and say by pi, which we learned in school, by 3.1415 is, so you copy that, but you don't paste it here, you paste it here. And that will calculate that length and when you use that for the value in the y, say create. Now you pretty much got what PLG showed you. It's pretty much the same. So that's how you get it. That's how you map that cube well pretty much correctly. So just take these two guys just to finish it. And we're gonna copy this value now here and here. Uh, planner Y create and that's pretty much it. So the thing though is that you can do it like that but it's not very convenient. It's not very a very good way of doing it. Uh, especially if this object is not per a perfect cylinder then it's not going to be that kind of UV mapping. This kind of uh, cylindrical UV mapping is just not going to cut it. So you need to use PLG. Uh, 